Earlier today, we saw Mr. Simon Webb going on about the Royal Navy giving Ukraine two warships and having two warships patrolling permanently off the Black Sea and in the area of the Crimea. Now, Mr. Webb managed to arouse a lot of patriotic hot-headedness on that and having people going, they shouldn't be doing that, they want to be stopping those migrants, blah, 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 at the bottom of the page on his comments, as he normally does. However, Mr. Webb also failed to admit quite a lot of context about what those two warships were and what they were doing. Now, much it's much less likely that people will watch this and see it, but perhaps some people will watch this and see the context. Let's have some context that Webb admitted, or perhaps he didn't do his research because he never bloody does, does he? He does minimal research and then tries to pass it off as some great discovery this is the sandown class mine hunter two of these will be were given to the ukraine if you look at their class overview here you'll notice they were built by vosva tornycroft i'm sure there's some, at least one or two people watching who are aware of vosva tornycroft's storied history as a naval builder now look at the operators royal navy estonian navy royal saudi navy ukrainian navy romanian naval forces and there's a good reason it's they're used by so many groups um countries because effectively they were considered defunct some time ago and most of them have long since been retired here you go the 3d commission vessels were sold to estonia in september 2006 other vessels have wandered off to the royal saudi navy if you look at the active number active three each royal navy estonian and royal saudi navies Basically, the Royal Navy maintains very few of them. They're an obsolete vessel near the end of their shelf life. They first entered service in 1989. In terms of a naval vessel, that's ancient. They're 34 years old. Here we go. Another article from the BBC. UK to send two Royal Navy hunters to Ukraine. And you'll excuse me while I get rid of that stuff at the top. If I can, okay, we can't, so we'll leave it there for a minute. That's a stupid ad. Um, it doesn't really matter anyway. The Royal Navy will transfer two of its mine hunter ships to Ukraine in a bid to strengthen the country's sea abilities, the Ministry of Defence has said. Defence Secretary Grant Shep said the vessels would help to open vital export routes, limited since Russia, which is invasion in Ukraine. We sense transfer... Basically, it's giving them away. They're obsolete. They're knackered. That's file image from 2016 should give you a good idea how old these vessels are. We're not talking about major fleet assets. They're small vehicles with fiberglass hulls. The, the British Navy intended to replace all of these vessels by 2025 with remote uh, equipment that would do the same job. And here's the Guardian. Uh, has said it delivered two mine hunting ships to Ukraine as Grant ships as to host a visit from his Norwegian counterpart aimed at bolstering his position in the Black Sea. The mine hunters, originally HMS Grimsey and HMS Shurm, were renamed Chernihiv and Cherkaski in Glasgow in June and will help Ukraine to maintain a critical route for merchant shipping travelling across the Black Sea. So they're not part of the Royal Navy at all anymore. They're part of the Ukrainian forces. All of this is something Webb admitted. Now, if Webb knew this and didn't tell you it, then he's misrepresented what's going on here. If he didn't bother looking it up, then his research is substandard because it took me about 20 minutes to find all these facts out, look up all these articles, and put this together. This is the substandard nature of Webb's presentations every time. Key facts submitted, basic research skills aren't utilised, context is omitted. Be very careful with anything this man is telling you for that reason. Anyone who's honestly trying to put a presentation together about anything, if they are honest, will always admit that they could be at fault and they could be making mistakes. You could find faults in what I've said here, and if you did, I'd quite happily bend and sort of change what I've said 
or admit it in the comments. This I do not see happening with Mr. Webb. I see no no action on that when stuff like this is pointed out. All I see are snide remarks and silliness and pedantic attempts to jump around and discuss semantics rather than admit that either you haven't done the research or you've hidden some of it down the back of the couch, basically. As ever, Webb, why are you doing this? And if you have problems with ships going being given to Ukraine, we will presume that logically you don't want any equipment given by the British from any of their armed services to anywhere. I presume if you don't want the Ukrainians to have these two mine hunters, you'll be equally upset with the fact that the British currently have a Type 45 destroyer patrolling in the Middle East. Of course, they're not giving that away. They are rather major investments and rather major fleet assets. I presume you will presumably feel that should be better off patrolling the coast of Britain. However, you didn't mention that, although it's been in the news recently, and I did notice that. Always interesting to notice these kind of partial, of partial reporting and lack of context. 